What's up, you guys? My name is Andy, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Google Pixel 6a. I did the last video on the Google Pixel 6a. It's a great phone. It just hasn't been able to make me completely switch to this phone just yet because it's a budget phone. That doesn't mean that it's a bad phone. That just means that it's not the phone for me. This phone is great for someone who doesn't want to drop a thousand dollars on a phone. Wait, that doesn't mean also that. I actually want to drop a thousand dollar on a phone. It's just, you guys know that I'm already using a Samsung S22 Ultra and for me to downgrade to this budget phone, it just takes a lot. But I have been using it for a couple weeks and I have to say, it is really good. This phone for its price is amazing. It's only $499 and it has a lot of stuff in here. The Google Pixel 6a has the best, wait for it, the best speech to text I've ever used on any phone. Even at $499, it doesn't even matter because whatever they have in here, whatever they've done, Google Assistant, Google speech to text is best, the best on the market right now. That being said, Whenever I use this phone, texting, answering comments on YouTube, tweeting, uh, making my description for Instagram, all of these things, I just talk to my phone. The phone automatically put capitalized on the first letter, put commas where it's needed, put period without me saying period after each speech to text period. If you guys love things like that, where you can just talk to your phone and you don't have to worry about typing in every single time, this phone is perfect for that. Also, the record app that Google has, I wish all other phone has it because it's just that good. The Google Pixel 6a speech to text is so perfect that the record app works extremely well. Other phone has it, kinda, but it, you always have to say period or comma or even making sure that it's cap and then you have to go back because it doesn't recognize your voice so on. There's a bunch of things that I just don't feel they have accomplished the same way that the Google Pixel 6a has. The Google Pixel 6a, honestly, there's a lot of great things about it and there's also a lot of bad things about it. The great thing about it is the speech to text, like I've said. It has Google Assistant super well. It has a great camera, great camera, not the best out there, but a great camera. It is a budget phone, okay? So you don't have to worry about spending, like I said, $1,000 to maybe even $2,000 nowadays. Speaking of some phone out there that costs that much. $499, this is a great Christmas gift. This is a great birthday gift. This is just a great gift for someone who doesn't really need all that specs on their phone. So even though that I don't use this phone every single day anymore, it doesn't mean that I don't recommend this phone. This phone is so good that I'm telling you, I will recommend it to anybody who's using a phone and wants to upgrade, that doesn't want to use that $2,000, that doesn't want to spend a thousand and you know all this money for a new phone. I know I'm repeating myself, but that is very a big fact. Not everybody has the money or wants to spend that much money on a phone. That's where this phone comes into play. The Google Pigs of 6A, it is definitely, definitely one of the best phones out there right now. So make sure you pick one up.